Ginkgo biloba is one of the most commonly used brain nootropics. But why do more recently developed brain supplements rarely contain it? Well, let's find out. Hey, what's up, Greg here, the founder of Your Own Inception. Welcome to my channel. If you want to achieve limitless performance, then subscribe below to start a journey. Today, we're going to talk about ginkgo biloba. Now, ginkgo biloba is a tree native to China that has been grown for thousands and thousands of years for its many benefits that this tree and the extract bring. Now, seeds and leaves of this tree has been used for many years because of different benefits, and especially in the traditional Chinese medicine. However, most studies were done on the extract of ginkgo biloba. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna look at the benefits of using ginkgo biloba extract. We're gonna look at the side effects, the recommended dosage, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you if I recommend it or not. So if you're ready, let's just begin. Oh, by the way, first question guys for you. Have you ever tried ginkgo biloba? And if yes, did you experience any kind of benefits? Let me know in the comment section below. So the first benefit is that using ginkgo biloba can reduce symptoms of dementia and mild Alzheimer's disease. There have been many studies done where people were given a supplement of ginkgo biloba combined with more conventional medicine and whenever these two were combined, the benefits were obvious and the symptoms were improved. Especially when ginkgo was used for a longer period for about 22 to 24 weeks. So based on those studies, people that have mild Alzheimer's disease were often given a supplement of ginkgo biloba. Another benefit of using ginkgo biloba is that it can improve brain function and mental performance. However, most studies that were done and showed the correlation there were mostly done on elderly people. And secondly, what I found out based on the studies that were done is that ginkgo biloba cannot really improve memory, it cannot really improve attention, or even executive functions. So again, it seems that ginkgo biloba is more effective on elderly people that are already in this stage of cognitive decline, whereas it's not as effective for younger people. Another benefit of ginkgo biloba is that it contains many antioxidants. And because of that, it's very great for fighting inflammation, for uh, reducing the symptoms of anxiety and depression, for supporting your eye health, and it can even reduce PMS symptoms. And last but not least, ginkgo biloba can improve short-term memory in elderly and even slow down cognitive decline. So as you can see, ginkgo biloba is very effective for especially elderly people, but not as effective for younger people who search for a cognitive boost, who search for compounds that could help them improve their memory, focus, attention. By the way, guys, I revealed 13 hacks that will show you how you can quickly boost your energy levels. To get them, download my free handbook below. So if you decided to try ginkgo biloba, what's the recommended daily dosage? So based on the studies that I found, the recommended daily dosage for slowing down cognitive decline is somewhere between 40 to 120 milligrams per day, taking up to three times. However, if you wanna boost your cognitive performance uh, just before the event, then you know, simply take a bit higher dosage, somewhere between 120 milligrams to 240 milligrams prior, like one hour prior to the event, um, so if you're taking an exam or if you have a very cognitive demanding project, before it happens, just take a bit higher dosage. Now, if you're gonna take ginkgo biloba as an individual compound, you're gonna find it probably in a bit higher dosages. If you, however, you're gonna take it as a part of more advanced brain supplement or brain nootropic stack, then the, you can expect a bit lower dosage of ginkgo biloba because it, those advanced stacks usually contain other more effective nootropics combined and you don't really need such a high dosage of ginkgo biloba. If you wanna check one of my favorite supplements that does contain ginkgo biloba, you can check the video up there and have a look. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. I'll be super happy about it. So how about the side effects? Well, ginkgo biloba is generally a very safe supplement based on the research that I've done. However, if you overdose or if you're allergic to it, uh, then you can, of course, experience different kind of side effects such as dizziness, headaches, stomach pain, and that kind of stuff. Um, I always recommend consulting your doctor before you take or experiment with any kind of nootropics and the same is true for ginkgo. Also, be careful if you take any kind of drugs such as blood thinners, like aspirin, for example, if you take any kind of antidepressants or other strong medication. In this case, again, do consult your doctor just to be on the safe side. So the final question is, should you supplement ginkgo biloba or not? Well, if you're older than 50 years, 
uh, if you are in the midst of cognitive decline, if you suffer from dementia, then I think, yes, do consult your doctor, uh, find the optimal daily dosage, then combine it with other conventional medicine. And based on the studies, I think you'll see some benefits when supplementing it. Uh, would I take it as an individual compound? Probably not, because the studies are not that strong and they're better, more effective than tropics on the market. But if you find it as a part of a more complex brain supplement, for improving your cognitive performance, for improving your memory, focus and that kind of stuff, then of course, I think ginkgo biloba can be beneficial, but yes, it needs to be combined with other uh, effective nootropics to get the best benefits. And that's my final conclusion. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Don't forget to follow Your Inception on Facebook, on Instagram. Don't forget liking this video, subscribing to this channel, and I hope to see you soon. Take care.